Um, you know, right now I think we just got to give a lot of credit to Purdue. You know, obviously they came out and they shot the ball really well. Um, you know, when you're playing against a team and they, they make 23s, you know, it's going to be tough to be competitive and, and win. So, uh, you know, got to get credit to them for how they played. Um, you know, I think we do have a team full of good character um, and a team that can really progress here. And I think just the goal now is to learn from the mistakes we're making. Um, and I think, you know, we'll look back at the film tonight um, and just get a better feel for that, you know, where we let their shooters get open. But, um, you know, I have full confidence in our team that we'll be able to, you know, move past this and learn from it and, you know, get a win on Tuesdays. How frustrating and disappointing was that first half? All the energy in the building, and you guys just couldn't get any shots to fall early. Yeah, I thought um, you know, our defensive effort early in those first, before that first media time, I was really good. Um, you know, I thought we did a good job of you know, executing our game plan there, and you know, we got some open looks. Um, you know, some guys that usually make those shots. You know, unfortunately, you know, I had a miss two, a wide open three, and you maybe get one of those go down, get the crowd into it again. Um, you know, it's a different ball game, but. Yeah, um, you know, a little unfortunate we couldn't knock down a few open shots, but uh, you know, hopefully that'll change on Tuesday. Is it hard to stay confident in a stretch like this? I think so, but I think it's also a very important thing that we have to maintain. You know, is that confidence level, that belief that you know, we can turn this around, um, belief that we can win games uh, at this level. So, um, you know, obviously it's a, it's a challenge. Um, you know, something that we're going to continue to work on. Um, I think that starts in practice and carries over in the games. A lot of things that we need to work on, so I mean, you have to kind of listen, listen, um, kind of with tunnel vision, just lock on one thing at a time. And, um, I mean, as much as much as this feels like a low point, we were we were right at this point last year. I don't, we I don't think we won a seven, but um, it's going to it's going to take all the entire part of the program to get this turned around. And, um, we're not going to keep stopping. We're not going to stop working. And, um, that's, that's none of the characteristics that we have as individuals. So. Um, we're just going to try to get ready for Tuesday. Is that possible? I mean, you guys feel like you're close enough as a unit, especially on the floor, to make those improvements and play better, especially on the offense. Yeah, obviously it's difficult because obviously coming into the season, we have high expectations for, uh, from the outside, obviously, but also individually from inside the locker room. Um, but it's, it's tough not to dwell on the obviously the last game, the game before that, games that we feel like we. Should keep, we should win, and um, obviously we start out slow in the beginning of the season. And, um, but at the end of the day, we gotta we just got to keep working. I know that I keep saying that, but um, that's just the attitude you have to have. It, you have to have during adversity is to keep working and work for the next day. So that's what we keep doing. Looks like you guys are really struggling in half court. The motion isn't moving the way it usually does, um, and then all of a sudden it's kind of somebody has to bail out a shot or rush a shot or something like that. What is it offensively? It's just keeping this team from executing at a, at a pretty good level. Right, yeah, I think you can give a lot of credit to the opposing team because they're doing a good job, obviously, with me. Uh, once I give up with the ball, and I'm having a uh, really tough time just giving back in the first place and try to keep the motion off it's working and flowing. So um, a lot of that has to do with the opposing team, so they're playing, but um, can't use that excuse because last year we had Pete and they were all over Pete and we were still ran motion off just to perfection towards the end of the year. So um, I guess we just have to work, look back at that and what we did well. Um, I, obviously, we've done it. We've done it at um, certain periods of time this year, but um, we just haven't been able to do it consistently. Um, they were physical, but it's nothing that we that we had seen before. So you know, that wasn't. You know, I don't think that that changed the game. You know, too much. You talked yesterday about this being a you know a significant opportunity for you guys, and you guys weren't able to capitalize on. It. Is that tough to, I guess, deal with? Uh, yeah. I mean, anytime you lose a game, you know, you're not going to be happy. It's always an opportunity. Um, but they, they came out and they were the better team tonight. That's all there is to it. France says he sees improvement in you guys. Um, sometimes it's hard for maybe fans to see that when you're losing. Do you see progress being made on this team? Uh, yeah, you know, there's always, um, you know, spurts when we, we play um, to our potential, and um, there's spurts that we don't. But, uh, you know, whenever we can, when we, whenever we see ourselves, you know, playing well, uh, it's always a good thing. TC, what's going through your mind second half? You guys, a lot of long faces on the bench, a lot of almost look like shock on your face. What What's going through your mind? What What, what are you guys contemplating there? Uh, you got to keep competing. You know, it's tough. Obviously, you know, when you when you get down by that much, you know, um, to, to a really good team like that. But so all you can do at that point is try to keep competing and, uh, you know, try to stay tough-minded. Does, does a sense of 
for lack of a better word, embarrassment set in or, or with it on a day like this, I guess, where there's so much emotion in the building? Um, you know, regardless of that, you don't want to lose, you know, a game. You don't want to lose a game that bad either. Um, but like I said, you got to keep it beat. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it sucks, but I think we gave them too many open and rhythm jumpers, especially the guys who, would, you know, they'd come down, they'd hit one, and they'd kind of get an open look the next time, the same guy. So, you know, that's things we just, we can't do, and, uh, and we can't let them get those rhythm shots. We really shot them. They shut the hell out of it tonight. You know, they're a great team and that's what they're going to do. You know, they're one of the best teams in America and they're number one seed at the tournament started now. So, you know, they have shooters and you know, we, we try to limit their inside game a little bit. And, uh, you know, um, they did a great job, you know, getting into their shooters and knocking them down. Did, did Isaac get you to the ball and uh, start bleeding in the first half? Oh, no, it was, a, it, was a, it was an elbow, I think. Yeah, I mean, he was just, it wasn't like, you know, intentional. I didn't I didn't see it as intentional, but he was clearing out, trying to get to the basket. He's a big dude, you know. Uh, you know, it, it happens. You know, I mean, obviously, he's, I got hit with a lot of those that game. So, uh, you know, he's a big dude. He's a great player. So, Why do you think it seemed, I mean, all you guys are good players. Everybody's got good players in the league. Why do you think it seemed so easy for them? To get those open looks from the outside, um, I don't know. They did. They did a great job moving the ball. Um, I don't know. I think it was. I think it was. Uh, it was more on us. We just can't let them get those open and rhythm threes. Uh, especially, you know, like I said, um, after one guy hits one, he comes down. He kind of gives the same kind of look that he just got, and he knocks it down. You know, this is a great team. You know, they're going to knock down these open shots. We gave him too many open looks in the first half. How disheartening heartening is this for you guys, Luke? I know you're you're working hard, you're waiting for the season to kind of turn the corner, and then you know it's disappointment after disappointment. Yeah, I mean it's hard, but you know, uh, you know it's just adversity. You know, we're, uh, you know there's a plan for us, and we we're gonna keep working, we're gonna keep believing, and uh, you know we took some positive steps in the second half, and we're gonna learn from this, and uh, you know we're not gonna quit, we're not gonna bow down, it's not it's not gonna happen like that. We're not we're not going out like that. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep uh, you know trying to turn it around and uh, get us some more momentum.